Good morning. Yes, I'm still sick. But I am eating a homemade soup that hubby and my brother-in-law made for me. I feel like shit. <coughs> still. This is day... What is today? Today is day four. I'm feeling like I've been hit by a truck. Um, I am on baby duty. The baby has already been sick, so he's not going to get this again. I'm laying here watching Long Island Medium. So, how many of y'all, wait, <laughs> my cousin, um, how many of y'all believe in mediums or psychics or, you know, prophets? I do. I believe in them. A um, couple, no, not even a couple, maybe, maybe five or ten years ago, um, my mom had went to see a prophet and mind you my mom's best friend is kind of like a psychic because she sees stuff um okay so she went to see this prophet this prophet was like you have a daughter and she's having a really rough time right now and at that time i was i was going through a really hard time and i needed some sort of guidance so he got to talking about my life and stuff like that and how things were going to change and, you know, just give it some time. And then he got on the subject about kids. He was like, does she have any kids? Mom was like, no, she don't have any kids. This is way before, you know, me with the TTC journey and me and my husband and everything. Y'all, he told my mom that I was going to have a family and he saw a son. A son. Okay, I do. I have a son now, but back then he saw that. <coughs> okay. Then, um, when I got pregnant, right before I had told my mom that I was pregnant or told anybody for that matter, because my mom was the first person that I had told, the, um, my mom's best friend had said that she was going to tell that my mom's best friend said that you know key is gonna key's gonna be pregnant before her birthday and i announced my pregnancy before my birthday i didn't know this until after i had already told my mom and then my mom was like yeah you know she already told me that you was gonna tell me that she was pregnant before your birthday i was like what the hell she kept on saying she saw bows she see bows she see bows she see bows and i'm thinking okay it's gonna be a girl no, it was a boy. She kept asking my mama if I was having multiples. No, I was having one. Now, okay, last week I had talked to her on the phone and she just blurted out of nowhere. Are you and your husband trying to have another baby? Wait, what, huh? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Girl, no, we're not trying to have no more babies. Yo, she not already told me. She said, I'm going to have at least, at least one more. I don't want no more kids. TJ did some damage on my body that is not repairable. I don't want to have no more. I'm good. But how many of y'all believe in prophets and believe in mediums and, you know, psychics and stuff? How many of y'all believe in that? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. What, what is y'all's story on it? What's your take on it? Sour Patch Head. For real. He is eating sour patches out the bag. He got one in his hand. You see it? He's like, I got my bobo in one hand. And I got my sour patch in the other. It's going dead. It's going dead. It's going dead. I can't eat sour patches right now. Even though it is my favorite candy. I think I would probably choke and die 
if I did, because they are like, they're so yummy, but they're so gummy, and considering my throat, it's kind of kicking, you know, kicking the bucket right now, I can't, I can't eat them, all I can eat is this here soup, this here Theraflu, this here water, and sometimes some crackers with the soup. Ain't paying y'all no attention. He too busy watching TV. He just woke up from his nap. <clears throat> and I'm about to take my nap. I managed to make it to the couch. Um, <clears throat> the baby's outside, so I got the blinds open so that you can see him. You see him out there? And he's out there just playing. He loves being outside, and it's <clears throat> extremely windy outside today. Thank goodness the house that we have um, has a screened-in front porch and a screened-in back. Uh, well, not back porch, but like a, they call it a sunroom. And it's basically the size of another bedroom, but it's all screened in with um, the the sliding windows or whatever. And then you go out that door, and outside that door is a patio. So y'all get the gist of what's going on. Get out of there. Hot mess. You see what he's doing? He is playing. I put some toys out there, so he's playing with his toys. Such is life, right? Life of a mommy. Some of y'all have been wondering, what do I use to walk with? And let me see if I can pull it up. This thing right here. It's an air cast that I wrap around my foot, half my darn leg, and I just waddle around. And that's how I get around now. I don't have to use a little scooter thingy no more. I don't have to use the crutches no more. Ow, something's biting me. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to this crap at all. Like, I'm used to, what the hell? I'm used to when the seasons change, everything dies off. Down here, don't nothing die off. If anything, they freak spread their wings and multiply. <sighs> y'all, I miss the snow. And for all of my New York followers, I feel for you. Like, I'm watching the news and I'm seeing this blizzard about to hit y'all. All I'm saying is, y'all better cut them furnaces on. Y'all better cut on them, uh, the fireplaces. I know where I'm from, we didn't have, like, the furnaces and stuff like that. We just had central AC and heat because it didn't get as cold. Like, I think the lowest it ever got my entire life of living there was, like, three degrees, I think. I think that's as low as it's gotten, but I was seeing on the news like some places is gonna be like negative five, and I'm looking like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Um, y'all, y'all better bundle up like two or three times. Make sure you got plenty of blankets. Make sure you got plenty of wood to make you a fire in case you need to, even if that means you making it in the backyard. You make your fire and you keep yourself warm. I do not want y'all to sit there and freaking freeze over because you ain't got enough heat or you ain't got enough blankets. You hear me? Open up the, the doors, you know, up under the sinks. So that way, you know, the heat in the house will help heat up them pipes to keep them from freezing over. And make sure it's dripping a little bit. It don't have to drip a lot or nothing like that. Just a drip every couple of minutes. That's all you need. It's just a little drip. Make sure them pipes don't freeze over and pop. Because I'm telling you, when the pipes freeze over and pop, there's going to be some damage and there's going to be some moolah out y'all. You know what? Trust me. I've been there. 
Now, I ain't never left. I ain't never lived in, in New York, but I have lived in a cold climate where you've had to do that to keep your pipes from freezing. Um, I don't know. I, I miss the snow. I miss the cold weather. I really do. Like, y'all think I'm crazy. I really, I for real miss it because it's like right now with the seasons and stuff changing, my body is feeling the seasons changing, even though the season's not changing here. Like, today, I think the high was like 68 or something like that. To most people down here, it's freaking cold. To me, shit. Um, I'm used to, like, right about now, having, like, potato soup, chili, you know, vegetable soup, all kind of different soups that you can think of. I'm used to having hot cocoa. I'm used to having, like, some coffee with a little bit of alcohol, a.k.a. moonshine. I'm used to stuff like that, you know? I'm used to sitting in front of the fireplace or sitting in front of the kerosene here because my mama was old school. She wasn't about having, you know, a furnace and all that other stuff. She did the kerosene here, and she was like, when I need it, all I got to do, fire that thing up. I can cook on it and everything else. With the fireplace, some fireplaces you can't cook on, especially, like, if the flames is too hot. And then... She was just like, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to do my kerosene heat up. My mama, she was like for real old school country. And I should have kept that kerosene heater. But I ended up donating it to somebody that would need it. Because we don't live in a climate where it gets cold. Like, I think the coldest it's, the coldest it's gotten here is 60 on the dot. And that was about two weeks ago and here it is the middle of january about to be february and it's not even cold yeah i'm laying here watching um love and hip-hop new york y'all why do i even watch this crap like it is so messy the only person i like on here is yandy Erica Minna just had her little bitch fit at a Rich's party. Like, I can't, I cannot deal. Like, I'm starting to really hate reality TV and get more so into, like, the DIYs and, you know, the cooking shows and stuff like that. Like, all these reality shows, I just, I don't really, I don't know. There are a couple of them that, you know, I still mess with. But for the most part, all the shows that I used to watch, I don't even watch no more. But I just had my dinner. Can y'all guess what this was? Um, let me see if I can get it with the bag. Panera Bread. I'm officially hooked. That is my third time going, okay? And I think I just devoured the soup. That broccoli cheddar soup. Oh my gosh, like, crack. I'm telling you, I straight up devoured it. And with my throat hurting or whatever, I can't really eat the bread like I want to. And I love me some bread. And the bread is um, it's hard bread. It's like the sourdough or something like that. And so I just stuck it in the darn juice in the um in the soup, and I ate it like that. I don't know. I've never been one that likes soggy bread, so that's the reason why I've never done it. But y'all, I can't I can't even describe to y'all how that feels. But um yeah, I'm going to put my head wrap on my head and I'm finna get comfortable in this bed here and uh I'm calling it a night but I'm gonna finish watching Love and Hip Hop um let me let me know what you guys think do y'all watch Love and Hip Hop and if you do who's your favorite character and what's your favorite thing about Love and Hip Hop that you like um but yeah I shall see y'all
que sabe en español, yo acabo de conocer a Gianni recientemente, me dijo que hablara eh, para ustedes, no solo que yo esté esperando que yo le diga. For all you motherfuckers that speak English though, that don't know what I just said, uh, pretty much don't worry, we're not trying to rebel or anything like that, but you know, just um, keep doing what you're doing, you know, you're looking good, you might want to put some pants on. <laughs>